think we're starting to get on them, boys. First bay that we stopped in. Oop, mine shook the hooks on the worm. Do you have that Texas rigged or wacky? No, it was Texas rigged. Well, good way to start us out. I'm Roger Cormier, Midwest Outdoors, with a good friend of mine, Scott Walsh. He's got his boys up here and his gal Kathy, and I got my boys Thomas and Nicholas, and we're on a Voyager houseboat here in northern Minnesota, Crane Lake, our annual Father's Day trip. We're starting out our first morning of fishing here with chasing some of these famous Crane Lake smallies. That's a good one to start us out, Scott. Yeah, that's not a bad starter. You got, a, got that little one right before that, and then yeah. big one there. Big ones along the shore today. <laughs> now there's a few largemouth up in the Crane Lake chain, but a ah, smallmouth like that, man. What a brute. He had a little jig with a little plastic on it. Nice smallmouth. There you go, Nicholas. Bring it right here. All right, there you go. Yeah, good job. How about we go back to the houseboat, get some sloppy joes. That's the beauty of being up here. We're only a few miles from the houseboat. We're already up the lake. We got a little bit of spritz of rain here. We're heading back for lunch. Let her go, bud. really turning into a nice afternoon. You know, the beauty of going on a houseboat is, you know, the guys can go out and, and fish like this. Of course, uh, anyone else in the family that's interested, my boys wanted to spend some time in the water today, swimming, tubing, going down the slide. So they're hanging out back there playing and Scott and I are out catching some fish and showing you folks what it's like up here in Crane Lake. Ooh, there we go. What you got? Mm, Smalley? Ooh, it's a good one, yeah. Super easy, put a piece of plastic on a hook and pitch it at boulders. Kind of a summer long pattern, but she's running the other way. I, eight foot St. Croix tournament rod here and an extra fast tip on it. The suffix braid and then just a little floral leader knotted to it. Just that real simple Texposed hook presentation. And that's the result right there, man, beauty. Only in about three feet of water, Scott. They're mixed in a little bit. You'll catch one in eight and one in six, and every once in a while there's one up in two. It seems like they're just relating to those bigger boulders. Doesn't really matter the depth as long as it's somewhat shallow. Another nice one. It's so fun. You know the reason Scott, Scott and I and our families love coming up here. I mean, obviously beautiful setting here. Voyagers National Park, northern Minnesota, easy to get to. You know, paved roads all the way in. And you're fishing in such a spectacular setting. When you've got your cabin up the lake on a houseboat, you're just in this wilderness for your entire vacation. The kids unplug. It's really a nice time and great fishing as we're showing you here. Another good smallie. Another one that ate that worm. Just the average size, kind of typical of what you catch here in Crane Lake, Voyagers National Park on a Voyager houseboat. Another thing about vacationing in the Crane Lake area, lots of great spots. I mean, tons of bays and islands, lots of different shorelines. You can always tuck out of the wind. Uh, a lot of the lakes, they feel big when you're out on the big water, but when you get in the bays, they're very intimate. Also, uh, getting around Voyagers National Park is a snap. There's marker buoys everywhere, really good navigation maps. The Lake Master Chip has one foot uh, bottom contours as far as fishing structure, really detailed information there. And Voyager Lodge will help you get um, acclimated to driving the houseboat, uh, get you up to speed on that. It's super easy. Uh, bring your own boat, tow it behind the houseboat. If you don't have your own, you can rent a skiff from the lodge. If you need anything, you just call them up on the Marine Band radio and they'll have a hospitality boat every day there by 10 a.m. One of the nice things about Crane going along, just fishing some rock shoreline, Casting the artificials or or bait, um, you'll run into a fair amount, fair amount of these. Real nice walleye. They were just bass fishing, but that's a perfect eating eye. Typical beautiful yellow bellies here on the Crane Lakes darker water. You get these golden colored walleyes. But this one will make a nice little appetizer before dinner tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this one's going in well. Voyager Lodge and Houseboats has 34 boats in their fleet, varying in size from 36 up to 60 feet in length. All the boats have gas grills on the deck, hot and cold running water, showers, stoves and refrigerators, microwaves and coffee makers, and of course, varying levels of amenity depending on the type of houseboat that you choose. Some of the more plush options even have air conditioning, hot tubs on the roof, and water slides. So you can really pick a houseboat for your group and budget that'll suit your exact needs. 
it's what's become our traditional clothes here at Voyager Lodge and Houseboats. The schmores by the fire with the kiddos, having a great time here in Voyager's National Park. If you'd like to experience this great destination with your family and friends, you need to call 1-800-88-BOATS or go to the website houseboatvacations.com. You can plan your trip by looking on the website, picking the kind of houseboat you want, and learn everything about this type of vacation. I'd like to thank my family and friends as usual for being along on this trip. I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.